Hi guys, this is Mr. Rego. And today we're going to determine uh, the value of values of the variable for which the following problems are defined. Okay, so they're giving you an expression. Okay, uh, different expressions. Let's do number one first. And they're asking you determine the value or values for which the following problems are defined. That's another way of asking you for the domain. All right, there's a different way of asking you for the domain. Let's write it here. Okay, they're asking for the domain of the function. They're asking you where is this function defined? So basically, every time we do it in domain, we start with the real numbers. That's a better R. That's, there we go. That means all the set of real numbers. We start with that. So I'm assuming we start with all real numbers, except whenever we have a rational function, the idea is that I'm not able to divide by zero. This is what I'm saying. Two divided by zero. That's undefined, undefined, right? So I don't want to have a zero on the denominator. I don't want that because then my function will be undefined. So my domain is always all the real numbers except any value of x that will make this denominator equals to zero. And the reason is because that will be undefined and I don't want my function to be undefined. So here we go. So how do we find the domain? We start with all real numbers. And then we said, all right, I don't want the denominator to be zero, so I'm gonna make whatever my denominator is, I'm gonna make it equal zero. And that value will be out of my domain. Okay, so let's, let's check it out. So two x plus one, I need to solve for x. So it's gonna give me two x equals negative one, divided by two, divided by two, the x is equal to negative one over two. So do I want this value or I don't want it? I don't want that value. Remember, because this value will make my denominator zero and therefore it will be undefined, which is what I don't want. So let's go back, my domain. So domain for this function will be all real numbers except when x equals negative one over two. And that will be the solution for that problem because that will make the denominator zero. So this is the way how you handle this, okay? Now, let's work on the second one. Like we said in the first one, my domain is gonna start with the real numbers and I don't want my denominator to be zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that x squared minus two x minus three and I'll make it equal to zero. And I'm gonna need to find the values of x. So this is a trinomial, so I have to factor this out. x, x, that negative comes over here, negative times negative is positive. Two numbers that multiply, you get three, and add it, you get two. Let's try three and one. Negative three times one, negative three times one is negative three, negative three plus one is negative two. So we're good. Now, once I have my two factors equal to zero, I need to find the values of x, which is basically x minus three equals zero, and x plus one equals zero. I make each parenthesis, each factor equal to zero. From there, I need to find the value of, of x, which is three here, minus one, x equals negative one. So, do I want these two values? No, because these two values will make my denominator equal to zero, my and I don't want my denominator to be equal to zero, therefore, let me write my domain. So my domain is all real numbers except when x equals three and when x equals negative one. I don't want those values, that's why I write except, okay? And this will be the main for the second function, all right? Thank you very much. I hope you liked the video, guys. Please subscribe to our channel, notification bell, hit it, thumbs up our videos. There's more videos here related to the topic. Our website, like us on Facebook, we have the videos as well and more of all the information. Please share, share, share this video with your friends and family, okay? Help us all, uh, share the love and get more subscriptions and more views, all right? That's going to help our channel. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.